Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing this makeup look for you all. I just got inspired by doing a green wing eyeliner in like a burgundy kind of brownish reddish eyeshadow. Just like blown out eyeshadow in a brown lip. I just got inspired by it somehow. I can't even remember. So I just thought I would create this look. So if you're interested to see how I did it then, please keep on watching. So first of all, I'm going to be going in my L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer and just concentrating that in my T-zone and then spreading that to the rest of my face. I'm now going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 220. And I do know this foundation is a tad light for me, so excuse that, I will bronze my face up later. I'm just blending that into my skin with a B makeup sponge. So for concealer, I'm going to be going in my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and also my NYX HD Concealer. And just going to be applying this underneath my eyes, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and then I'm going to be blending it out with my B makeup sponge once again. So I'm just going to be baking the places where I put concealer I'm using this Revolution banana powder, just a loose banana powder. So it's just under my eyes, on my nose, and on my forehead and also on my eyelids to bake. And I'm going to put that down for a while and I'll brush it off later on. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to be going in with the Revlon Color Stay Powder in I think this light medium just for the rest of my face just so everything is nice and matte. When I put my other powders on, everything goes out nice and seamless. So now I'm going in with my Avon Glow Bronzer. I noticed when I was putting this on, it was quite pinky. So I think it's probably better off as a blush. But I use it as a bronzer this way anyways. So I'm just using it to contour and bronze my face. Like my cheekbones, my forehead and my nose. And also put it on my chin to kind of like blend down to my neck as well. So everything looks nice and seamless. So I'm also putting on some MAC Gold Deposit. I think this is, I'm not even sure what it is, but it's like a bronzer, shimmery bronzer anyways. And then I'm going in with my highlighter, which is the Sleek Cleopatra's Kiss Highlighter. I'm not exactly sure which one I used. I think I must have like mixed them both, I'm not even sure. But they're so pretty and they last super long as well. So I'm going in with this blush from Max Factor. I'm not 100% what it's called, but I'll leave all the information down below. And then I'm setting my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist. And then for my eyebrows, I'm using this Eyler Pomade. And it's just a dark brown pomade or medium brown pomade. I'm not even sure, to be honest. I'll leave all the information down below. And I'm just filling in my eyebrows like I usually do. I'm not going to explain it much. I do have an eyebrow routine that I'll link down below as well. I'm using the Rimmel Brow This Way Eyebrow Gel just to set my eyebrows in place and now we're moving on to eyeshadow. So I'm using this Revolution like Ultimate Matte Palette or something and I'm just taking that first colour and just putting that in my transition just so we can have something to blend with the rest of the colours. And then after that, I'm taking a medium brown colour just to darken it up a bit. Eh? Just going from light to dark, just keep blending that into the crease. And literally, this look is all about blending, so it does take a lot of patience, but you can get a hang of it. And after that, I'm taking two colours and mixing them both together, and then just applying that into the crease also. Literally, it's just like applying, blending, applying, blending and swapping through like different brushes as well. Not too complicated, just take a while to blend through it all but it is worth it in the end. So I am packing those two colours onto the lid and then blending it into the crease so everything is nice and seamless and nice and smoky and blown out. And then afterwards I'm just moving on to my lower lash line 
I'm just repeating the exact same steps using the same colors for the lower lash line, just making sure everything is blended together and is nice and seamless and smoky. So I'm now going in with this L'Oreal paint thing. I'm not even sure what it is. It's like a cream eyeshadow that you can do so many different things with. So I thought I would do a green um, eyeliner today instead of just like a normal black one to mix up a bit. Yes, yeah, so I'm just doing my normal wing liner, just like drawing a line outwards and just pulling it back in, just filling in the space. It's really, it's really easy. And I will list my eyeliner routine down below just so you can see how I do it in depth. So I'm highlighting the inner corners with the same highlighting kit from Sleek that I used on my cheekbones and then I'm going in with my eyelash which I think is the Wispies by Ardell and I love them so much, they're like the perfect eyelashes that I always go for. So for mascara, I'm just using this one from Avon, I got it as a part of my Christmas. And then for a lipstick, I'm going in my Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick. And honestly, this color is the most beautiful thing I have ever used. Out of all my lipsticks, this is my favorite lipstick of all time. I highly recommend it. I can't remember the name of it, so I will list it down below. But honestly, it is absolutely gorgeous and it lasts all day long. This is the finished makeup look guys, I really hope you all enjoyed the video, if you did please don't forget to give me a massive thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on all my social media which is Valerie Stormer for Twitter and Instagram and then Makeup by Valerie Stormer for Facebook. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye guys!